Belizean musician and athlete, John King was gunned down on Saturday night on Victoria Street. He was socializing inside this concrete house when someone outside shouted for evil, the alias of a man who was also inside the home. King opened the door only to be met by a gunman who unleashed a hail of bullets. Kimberly Arnold was inside with her child at the time of the shooting. All I can say is that day, God turned me into a human rat. Because when, that, because when I heard the first shot, I was about to say, what the F is that? But before I get to say the F, it's because I had to jump on the bed, cover my baby with the two um, pillow, stuff myself in a hole like this. I had to stuff me and my baby in a hole like this, between my bed and my wall. The gunman then fled the scene, leaving in his wake John King's body on the concrete floor riddled with gunshot wounds. Arnold is puzzled as to why anyone would target King. I would never, could never explain to you what really happened because it's not what had happened. It's what the person who did it thought when they came to do it. You understand? It's not that the accident has occurred because that is an innocent person. So you're asking me what had happened? I can't tell you what happened because he didn't do or harm anyone. My brother, you are young black king. Sister, you are young black queen. Yeah. And that is the sentiment we got from everyone we spoke to today about John King. He grew up in the heart of a gang-ridden neighborhood known as Jungle on south side of Belize City. But by all accounts, he was not into guns and the fast life. King oftentimes shared the struggles and challenges of his community through the music he made with Echo Middleton and Karen Bennett of Team No Sleep Music. Both young men are devastated by King's murder. John Music was always uplifting music, always uplifting. Never one day I could say I hear John come to me with negative lyrics. Mm. Never one day. All his music that always about uplift for himself. If he want for his friends to live a better life, that always about the positive side of life. Although we go through this hardship, that always about the positive life. Like one of his line in his sign, no matter how hard this life get, we still, we still have to hold it out. Right now, I don't want to lie to you, we, we did try to hold it out. But, but this rough. You know, and John, always when he come to the studio, I could be the person where they in our sad mood. And he I call, no man, no man, no, no, uh uh, not today. This not today, uh-uh, we the vibes. They left, we broke up, they left the whole music community broken. I mean like everybody in our tears right now. You might not see it in my glasses, but I cry for our last night for my lady, but like, like literally, you know, no one do to you, no one no one do to you. King equally loved sports. He played football at the highest level in Belize alongside one of the nation's top players, Ian Genier. We spoke to Genier who lamented the senseless killing in Belize. Me as a football player, you know, as a, as a well-known figure in Belize, I mean, just like the last of Jamian, you know, it's just the, the, the athlete world. I mean, we, we got to mourn because it could happen to any one of us, you know, and I think, you know, the, the, the killing need to stop in Belize, especially with athletes. Everyone knows John King, know that John King is not a problem person. You know, John King was very talented. John King knew how to play football. John King knew how to dance. Chan King know how to DJ, Chan King could be a mic man, Chan King was an artist. Me as a, as, a, as a black man, very worried. I worried about my life in Belize every day because I mean, like sometimes I feel like my life doesn't mean anything because I mean if somebody come and do the same thing to me, you know, nothing will come, of, come out of it. So I mean, I, I would want to see justice, but you know, the way our, our country is set up, it, it's, it's hard to you know, to bring just justice and could have the criminal be convicted, you know. King leaves behind a three-month-old son and a six-year-old son. Janelle King, his grieving sister, says the family hopes for no retaliation. On behalf of my family, I would hope that there is no retaliation towards anything because we, are, we, are, we don't have knowledge of any quote-unquote beef that he has because he's a very loved person. If you guys can notice on Facebook, everybody's pouring out love to my brother and it is very appreciated. And um, as well for right now, that's all we're doing is, is just grieving. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.